Today I'm going to show you how to make an animated gift. Now there are two ways that you can do this. You can use, for example, uh, still images. Maybe you've taken uh, time lapse or some still photos that are done uh, in a sequence where you're showing something, for example, a flower opening so that the first shot to the last shot is the whole sequence of the flower from close to open and uh, or you could also take uh, a piece of a video uh, and do that too uh, so I'll show you how to do that now earlier I set up a short clip of an old video where I was filming uh, wind turbines so this short clip is only uh, two seconds now what you're going to want to do is you click on file uh, in Sony Vegas and you click render as and then you click on uh, image sequence or and then select PNG and then go to customize template and you don't really have to change anything here so you don't you can skip that and then you just basically uh, would hit render I've already sent it to uh, a new folder on my desktop As you can see, it's rendering the images. Basically, what it's doing is uh, creating uh, still shots of the video itself. Now, as you can see, here is the new folder I created with the uh, video clip. And here are the still shots and uh, that Sony Vegas created. Uh, so, basically, what you want to do is uh, eliminate some of the shots kind of like uh, selectively uh, eliminating some of them because uh, if you have too many layers when you create an animated gift it can cause uh, GIMP to freeze and I don't know if that's a problem with my computer or the program itself so basically what I would do here is restore this down and then uh, take my mouse and scroll to the bottom right click and then basically select all of the files in the middle and then delete them and now you're left with about 15 still shots now you would just open up GIMP. GIMP is a freeware program and the next step you would do is go to file and then open layers as select them all by pressing control and A on your keyboard and then click open now as you can see here they are all uh, showed they show up under layers here the next step is you click filters animation and optimize for GIF and then click that and it will begin to optimize the animation Now it has opened another window and now the last step is you go to export and then you go here where it says all export images and you select GIF and up here you just uh, delete PNG and then type GIF and then select where you want to save it. I select on my desktop and then you select export here or click export and then here you can get rid of a uh, GIF comment that isn't necessary and it isn't necessary to interlace either and then you would put a check mark in as animation and here is the delay between frames uh, like you can specify a time in milliseconds I will, I will just leave it as uh, 100 and then here where it says use delay entered above for all frames you would want to put a check mark in that and basically you just click export and then you wait for it uh, to export it to your desktop now we will move the toolbox window over and as you can see here is our GIF now as you can see it's fairly large it's 8.04 megabytes and for example if you would upload it to Tumblr Tumblr has a limit of 1 megabyte uh, so this wouldn't be ideal to upload it to Tumblr but here I will show you the end result and we'll open it with Internet Explorer and as you can see there's our GIF 
Now you can remove the jitter uh, and make it a more of a smoother playback if you would uh, increase the delay in milliseconds to maybe 750 or uh, 1000. Now I will show you how to make it uh, so that it will uh, work for a website like Tumblr where the, they have a file size limit of 1 megabyte. Basically, you want to click on image after you've optimized it for a GIF, uh, like I just showed you. And then you would go to scale image, and you want to make sure that the aspect ratio is locked. So you would, for example, type 720, and that seems to work for the width. And it will automatically adjust it to 405, so it's uh, the proportions are the same, and they don't look you know really weird um, and then you would click scale and now that it's scaled you would do the same thing as I showed earlier you would go to export as and then select your desktop or wherever you want to save it to and then click export and again this would all stay the same and then you would just click export now it's finished and we'll move the toolbox window again and here is the gift that we just created uh, and it's 1.55 megabytes. Now, uh, that should still work on Tumblr uh, because it's still not very large. It's a little bit over the 1 megabyte limit, but it should work. So we'll go open with Internet Explorer, and there you can see our GIF. As you can see, the quality has degraded a little bit, but it's still clear enough that it works as a GIF. Now I will show you how to do it with still images. You could either use time lapse on your camera and take a bunch of uh, still photos in sequence, or you can do it manually. I have about five pictures on my desktop, as you can see right here, that I will use just as an example. You want to click File and then Open as Layers, and then just select all of the photos and then click open and as you can see you've got the five layers here on the side and here is the window we'll be working with and again you would click filters and then animation and then optimize for GIF and it'll optimize And again, you go up to uh, File here, and then you click Export, and you select where you want to save it, and it's already set to Untitled GIF, uh, but there is one on the desktop with the same uh, file name, so you just add a 2, and then you would basically click Export, and then again, all of these settings can stay the same, and then you just want to... Uh, click export and it's done so we'll move the t toolbox over and as you can see here is our GIF again that we did with still photos and we'll open it with Internet Explorer to see what the end result was and as you can see there it is and again this would look a lot better if the delay was increased to like either 750 milliseconds or 1000 and the file size is 17.6 megabytes, so that is quite uh, large, and that would not work on Tumblr. So again, you would do the same thing as I showed earlier, and go to Image, and then Scale Image, and then put 720 in there, and then it brings it down to 720 by 540, and then you would click Scale. And what you would do is go to File, and then Export As, and then... Uh, click desktop uh, or wherever you want to save it and untitled to gif is fine and then you would just click uh, export and we'll increase the milliseconds to 750 so it's a bit smoother than uh, the previous result and everything else is fine as animation loop forever and use delay entered above for all frames and then you click it export and it's finished so we move the toolbox over and you can see here is our 
uh, GIF right here, and it's 1.41 megabytes, which is perfect for sites like Tumblr that have the file size limit. And now we'll take a look at it in Internet Explorer. As you can see, it looks much better because uh, I've increased the milliseconds to 750 instead of 100, which is the default setting in GIMP. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments section. Subscribe or visit my channel.